Hello and welcome to the channel. The presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, has overtaken Bola Tinubu of the whole Progressives Congress in Lagos State as vote count is expected to resume shortly. So far, Obi has garnered 449,088 votes as against Tinubu's Hall of 416,431 votes. This is from the 17 local government area of the state that has been counted. It should be noted that there are still three local government area results yet to be counted, but so far so good for Obi taking the fight to Tinubu in his home state. Let's get the detailed report then. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Peter Obi now leading Tinubu in Lagos. The presidential candidate of Labour Party, LP, Peter Obi, is now leading in the results of the presidential election held in Lagos on Saturday. As of the time this report was filed, 17 local governments had been declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, before the coalition was adjourned to 10 a.m. On the aggregate, Obi has polled 449,088 votes, while Tinubu has so far garnered 416,431 votes. Notwithstanding, the results showed that Tinubu won in 10 local governments as LP clinched 7 of the aforesaid 17 local government areas. The local governments won by Tinubu include Agege, Apapa, Badagri, Ekbe, Ibeju Leki, Ifako Ijaye, Ikorodu, Lagos Highland, Lagos Mainland, and Surulere. On the other side, Obi won in Etiosa, Amuwa Udofin, Ikeja, Ajeromi Ifelodun, Kosofe, Oshodi Isolo, and Somulo. Only the results of Ali Mosho, Ojo, and Moshin are now being expected. Recall, Moshin local government's result was initially announced by the coalition officer, but it was rejected to some dispute in the figure. Meanwhile, anxiety in the polity reached feverish peak yesterday as the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the third time shifted the announcement of Saturday's presidential and National Assembly election to 11 a.m. today. However, before adjourning announcement to Monday, the Hynek National Coalition Center, shared by Hynek Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, announced the results for Ekiti. Results from most states of the country were being collated at the state level at press time as complaints about the slow response rate of the Hynek result viewing IREV portal reigned. Reports from the states showed that Al Arji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party PDP won Oshun. Adamawa and was doing well in some northern states. Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party LP was winning in the southeast, Edo, and made impact in Lagos and Abuja. All Progressives Congress APCs as Siwaju Bola Tinubu was leading in southwest, won some councils in rivers and others in the north. Senator Rabiu Kwankwansa of the New Nigeria Party NNPP was leading in Kano and making inroads in some northern states. The electoral umpire had initially fixed 12 p.m. yesterday for the announcement of the results. It later shifted it to 6 p.m. yesterday before postponing it to 11 a.m. today. This happened as House Representative Speaker Femi Bajabia Miller led a crop of seven reps who retained their seats just as Ebony State Governor won his election for Ebony South Senatorial Zone. Also, Senate spokesperson Ajibola Basiru was among senators who failed to return. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. At the collation of the results of the presidential election, which began at 6.50 p.m., the state coalition officer for the presidential election scope in Ekiti State, Professor Akim Olawale Lasisi, said elections took place in all the 16 local councils. However, he said results from a polling unit in Ado Ekiti and another from a unit in Ekiti East local government area were cancelled due to bypass of the bimodal voter accreditation system, beavers and overvoting. 
giving a breakdown of the figures. He said the whole Progressive Congress APC polled 201,494 votes. The People's Democratic Party PDP garnered 89,554 votes. Labour Party LP got 11,397, while the Social Democratic Party SDP polled 2,011 votes. Total number of accredited voters was put at 315,058, while the total valid vote stood at 308,171. Also, the total number of rejected votes was 6,301, even as the total votes cast was 314,472. Speaking after receiving the results, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said more results will be expected in the wee house, saying provisions had been made for an efficient transport system for the state coalition officers. He consequently adjourned proceedings to 11 a.m. on Monday. Against complaints about the slow response rate of its result viewing portal, INEC has issued Nigerians that the development was not due to an intrusion of its systems by external forces, assuring that all results, including those not yet uploaded to the portal, remain safe on the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS. INEC said the results cannot be tampered with, and any discrepancy between them and the physical results used in collation will be thoroughly investigated and remediated in line with Section 65 of the Electoral Act 2022. The Commission is aware of challenges with the INEC results viewing portal, IREV. Unlike in off-season elections where the portal was used, it has been relatively slow and unsteady. The Commission regrets this setback, especially because of the importance of IREV in our results management process. INEC National Commissioner in charge of information on voter education, Festus Okoye, said yesterday. According to him, the problem is totally due to technical itches related to scaling up the IREV from a platform for managing off-season state elections to one for managing nationwide general elections. He said it is indeed not unusual for glitches to occur and be corrected in such situations. Consequently, the Commission wishes to assure Nigerians that the challenges are not due to any intrusion or sabotage of our systems and that the IREV remains well secured. Our technical team is working assiduously to solve all the outstanding problems and users of the IREV would have noticed improvements since last night. That's the news guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.